Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I am going to show you what an observer processing observer struggles looks like. And, and this person I just found randomly, right? She got recommended. And uh, the thing is, I quit my job, dro dropped out of my university and moved countries during a pandemic. All right. 7th October 2020 during a pandemic. Okay. This is a, first of all, this sounds very EP to me. But regardless, this is super observer. The way she speaks, the way she acts is like super observer. Watch. So just like life update, you know, when you just like, you know, when you just like have a mental breakdown, drop out of uni, quit your job and like move overseas. Um, look, what, look at what she's processing. There is no people. There's not like, there's no Jack. There's no Bill. There's not like an interviewer that questioned her in some random time. No things, right? It is things, university, dropping out, mental breakdown, moving countries. And, and notice what she speaks about in the video. Um, that's what I decided to do last month. It all started when I watched this one video from this guy who was like, not going to college was the best decision of my life. And I'm like, fuck, I wish that was the best decision of my life. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I just decided to like eat, pray, love and like fucking drop out of uni, quit my job and move overseas. You know, I'm having like a quarter life crisis. This sounds so cliche, but like I woke up one day and I was like, you know what? I fucking hate university. My job, like, what am I doing? I'm working in an industry that I don't give a shit about. I was just doing work that was like the same repetitive thing every single day, come home and then I'd be doing university online. I realized like how fucking miserable I was and was like, is this really worth it? First of all, no. Here's the situation that I was in with the border restrictions and- Border restrictions. Just notice all these words, border restrictions everything that's that's going on in australia right now i thought it was going to be impossible i thought the whole plan was just not going to work to be honest then i got a call from my dad on my birthday basically there was a way that i was going to be able to get out of australia right so she's trying to get out of australia right she's trying to escape the thing there's no there's no people in this she's trying to escape australia that's the thing i had to move to canberra first of all and then from canberra i was allowed to leave australia we put in the application uh, for me to be able to get an, a border exemption to move between states so to move out of victoria and into act my life is in shambles okay so my flight leaves in now she talks about thing problem right what, what is troubling her what is giving her what is huh? why is her life in shambles flight this thing, the boarding pass, the flight didn't take off, some stuff like this. In two days. So basically I'm supposed to be moving. Found out last night, exemption for travel was approved. There was a couple things I had to send, extra documents I had to send to like the border people have it fully approved. So I'll hear back from them at some point today. And when I hear back from them, I have to hand in my resignation to my job. <laughs> There's so much stuff that I have to do. I basically have two days to pack up my life and move. I have two musical instruments that I have to send overseas today. One of them is a fucking piano. So I don't know, I'm gonna get a scale. And what? She's trying to like send a piano from one country to another country? <sighs> like this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about when people, when I say they're processing things, you know, she's literally trying to move a piano during a pandemic and she's trying to, doesn't even matter. Let's watch her head and like weigh them and see how much they weigh and then i have to go down to the post office in the next few hours i would have done it earlier in the morning but i also work full time so this is the only real chance i have to do this there is so much i need to do i also need to write a resignation look at what she's processing oh i also have to do this i have to write the resignation let's go letter and then i have to quit which is going to be so awkward hey what's up no we have Look, look at, look how short the duration is of her trying to process the manager, the work is literally like 10 seconds. This is it. That's all she processed for the entire video. Uh, look at how awkward it's going to be and boom, you know, they're done. Just 10 seconds. She's processing the, even the people issue. We haven't spoken in three months, but here's my resignation. I leave today. He's gonna hate me. It's a predicament, you know? Write a resignation letter. Let's do that first. What 
what day is it? The 12th. My final day will be the 12th. <laughs> Isn't that, oh, I'm just the worst. I love that. Okay, love giving zero notice. I'm an asshole. Okay, so that's that. How do you expect me to pack up my whole life and fit it into a fucking suitcase? These two shoes look like they'd probably be my whole weight limit alone. Look at what she's processing. The resignation over, that's also a thing, right? Or oh, speak to this guy, boom. Or oh, next is like shoes. Next is gonna be some flight. Next is gonna be like, oh, I reached this hotel. Something like this. I'm not a minimalist. I'm not Matt Diavella, okay? I don't just have one shirt, okay? I have 100 shirts and 100 pairs of shoes. I arrived in Canberra. I was a mess. Moving in general, stress. Mo moving is stress. Not the people, the moving is stress, okay? Moving during a pandemic, stress. Moving to another state and then moving to another country, during a pandemic, during a lockdown. I don't think I've ever undergone something more stressful in my life. Oh, what is stressful? The moving. I'm sure that's not true. So I made it. Barely. The E stands for exhausted. I'm still in Australia. I'm in hotel quarantine for two weeks. I just spent like 20 minutes getting my little alcohol wipes and sanitizing everything that I was carrying with me through the plane trip. The only thing that I can do when I'm here, apart from like go on the internet, is my <laughs> Yo, what? She just channel changed. So... <laughs> she's talking about something and she's just like she just stopped and she's like is my skin uh this is very channel changey so that's the o e in the top right o e in the top meaning observer extroverted observer stuff that is like any extroverted intuition or sc extroverted intuition i think she has sc because she's talking a lot of sensory stuff sensory meaning like actual like things like moving and stuff any is more abstract so that's why i feel she's an ep sc of some sort skin starting to look not play last if you're really into OP. Oh no, okay. This looks like a waiting room for a dentist clinic. Um, I barely filmed anything in camera because I don't know what it was about lockdown, but being stuck in that hotel room and not being able to even leave, even for exercise, you know, it was a nice hotel and I had a kitchen and everything. So it's not like I was suffering, but I wasn't unhappy, but I lost like my will to live basically, if that makes sense. Like, hang on, let me explain. I noticed that like I completely lost all sense of motivation. It was really sad because like I had no internet really when I was there for the first week. I'm not a terrible person. I ended up doing three extra weeks with my company yeah they like my okay my job because <laughs> i was already working from home they were like just take your laptop to canberra at, with you and you can work during your quarantine in the hotel and i was like yes so that's what i ended up doing so i was working during my look at what she's processing i was working and she's giving us like a report right which is also like sfst but she's gonna be Look at what she's processing. Things. This is what I call things. Hotel quarantine. It was shit. I had to use my hotspot on my phone so that I could work. I was... If I wanted to watch Netflix, good fucking luck. That's data that you're going to need to work tomorrow. It was so strange. Like, I've never felt that depleted of energy or motivation in my life. Like, I procrastinate as it is, but I couldn't even get out of bed. Bad times in hotel quarantine. Not good for mental health to be isolated like that if you know someone who's in quarantine by themselves right now reach out to them because they're probably not doing fine <sighs> yeah so anyway after that i stayed with my dad for a week basically i was just like scrambling to organize everything i had to organize my residence look look at what she's processing look at look at her face look at how stressed she is she is in demon state what organizing stuff it doesn't even matter if she's gathering or organizing it is the thing that is stressing her out, not a person. This this task of organizing stuff that's like giving her an existential crisis. See, I had to organize the visa. She looks like she's crying, yo. I had to organize a second travel exemption <laughs> to actually leave the country this time. I had to organize my flights. Oh my God, the insurance was a headache. Finding travel insurance at a time when no one's allowed to travel and travel insurance just doesn't exist. It was, it was a process. Shout out to my auntie. She was calling me every single day, helping me figure all my flights and insurance out. Honestly. If this was a decider, they'd be talking more about their auntie. But this is like, she's just giving like a shout out and then back to things. Boom. Honestly, so grateful for her. So after that was all sorted, the next headache was going to be my three connecting flights. 24 hours. Yo, look at the shields. It's so funny. I never knew this is how they travel now. It's crazy.
Flying is like not cute for anybody on a regular day, but having to wear a mask and a face shield for 24 hours is like not super comfortable, you know? I had to wear the full shield get up even when I was sleeping. Anyway, arrived at Doha, sweaty, exhausted, sleep deprived. Look at what she's, look at what's bothering her. It's not the air hostess, it's not like this, her dad, her mom, her auntie, no. It's not the manager from her company, it is like the sweatiness exhaustion uh, this mask that she was wearing for 24 hours there was this one man who came and sat right next to me and like first of all okay she's talking about a man look at she was, she's, she's processing this guy right but she's not actually processing the guy she's processing what this guy was doing which is causing chaos right i'm like why is he doing this he, she's not like saying this is a bad guy or a good guy but she's like this thing that he's doing is, is super annoying I'm trying to social distance, so just relocate yourself a couple of seats away, please. He was watching football on his phone, max volume, also with heavy metal music playing on top of the, over the top of the football game. Like he couldn't, I don't know, I was confused. And then also he kept like grabbing his dick through his pants. I had to wait for like two hours in that situation. Basically what I had to do was first flight was from Canberra to Sydney because Canberra's airport, I guess Canberra airport isn't doing international flights. You have to fly out internationally from either Melbourne or Sydney. Then from Sydney, I flew to Doha and then Milan. Now I'm here in Italy, I made it. Once I arrived in Italy, I had to do two more weeks of quarantine here in the house but anyway it's all done it's all done the process is finished except yeah oh she said except them step for one step i still have to go to the police station and get my permesso di soggiorno which is the residency permit so that you got eight days to get this residency permit and if you don't end up getting the permit you get deported look forward to some videos about my time here <laughs> in italy i got a kindle for my birthday i can still read which is great there will of course still be book videos out of all the countries, why is she moving to Italy during her time? Why is she even moving? I don't get it. But, you know, it is the EP life, I guess. So Yeah, I just thought it might be interesting to update you on where I've been and what I've been doing. Anyway, that's it. I hope you're all doing well, wherever you are. I'm doing very well. Fine, thank you. And I hope you're all staying safe. I'm going to go enjoy my day now. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Yeah. So this is a YouTube channel, Lily Reads. So if you found her... So if you found her interesting, do check her out. I don't know. I just came across this one video randomly. That's it for this video. I hope you understand the observer coin processing things more better now. I'll see you guys in the next video.